What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantis. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. We got a driveway full of sobs here today. And uh, if the title doesn't give it away, we are gonna be trying to sell one. I've been trying to sell one, but not really too hard because I'm still driving it, which is this 2002 Saab 9.3 convertible. Look how beautiful it looks. It runs almost as beautiful as it looks. Let's hop into why. So if you haven't been following the channel the last two years, this 2002 Saab 9.3 convertible, the transmission started to go bad on the reverse gear. Obviously, it, when it's like really cold, the, the, it works perfectly fine. And the rest of the time you're driving the car, you can kind of just work your way around it. Just uh, don't drive and park in a downhill scenario. It could find yourself in a little bit of a mishap. So that being said, I am trying to sell the car. This video, I'm trying to get pre-orders on the car. 3500 or best offer and that's after I do the transmission. I have a new transmission sitting here. This transmission has between from what I was told 85 to 90,000 miles on it and it runs perfect. It's from a 2001 Saab 9.3 convertible. The reason why it was pulled out of that convertible was because that convertible was loaded with rust. My convertible is not loaded with rust. Therefore, it is a good one. So we are going to try to sell this car. If you guys want to buy this car with the transmission out of it, with just the car, I'm going to take $2,000. And I'm going to back my explanation up to why the price. I'm going to support the price. And you guys are going to understand why the price is strong, even though it's really not that strong, because I feel like these cars have bottomed out. So if you find a good one, you're going to pay for it. And I think mine's a good one. And of course, once this transmission goes in there, it's going to be a really good one. So let me, let me get into that one next. So hold on. All right, so this car we purchased back in 2015 with a busted motor. I put a new engine in it in my driveway. It was my first real Saab project prior to me actually starting this YouTube channel and going crazy with my car fanatics, my car hobbies and craziness that I do. But as you guys can see, the car is in immaculate shape. We put the, the engine in, it's been running good. I put 10W30 in the engine every 5,000 miles. Um, the engine is strong, turbo is good, pickup is good. It still runs really good. It's got a little vibration at 70 miles an hour and that is strictly because of the transmission. Um, and obviously with that being replaced, that will go away. We got good tires still on this car. You guys can see we got Continental DWSs. We probably have a good 10,000 miles left to tread on this car. So if you're gonna be buying this car for me, you're gonna have a car with good tires on it. We've done the front, front brakes about two years ago, uh, maybe five, 10,000 miles on them, not that many. And I've just recently replaced the rear brakes, as you guys can see. So in terms of brakes and tires, this thing's in top shape, or I should say in good shape. Um, as you guys can see, the body's in good shape. This car has been um, garage kept the last five years, at least, um, that we've had it. So, you know, it's been really well maintained. I've put a nice ceramic coating on it. As you guys can see, it's got a nice little shine to it. So it's not like your ordinary Saab that you're buying for two or four thousand dollars where it's gonna be a kind of beat up, you know It's gonna be it. This is this is top top shape now That's the cosmetics on the outside a couple little dings and nicks here and there standard for a car. That's 20 Years old or 20 years old on the inside doesn't it doesn't get much worse It's actually much better the inside. We got new carpets on the fronts and on the rears, leather's in decent shape. A little bit of a stitching issue here, which is somebody with some good hands can fix. Leather otherwise is in good shape. Everything works on the inside. Radio, HVAC system. Your convertible roof works completely. If you guys haven't been following my channel the last couple years or my Instagram, we've done all of the hydraulic lines on this convertible top. So it too works really, really well. A couple little flaws here and there where you gotta like turn the car off and reset the system. I think there might be air in a line or something along the ways, but it's, it's all in all, it's pretty good. Never really gonna get you stuck anywhere. That being said, under the hood. You guys ready to hear about how much money I've sunk into this car over the last 
seven years of driving it. So under the hood, there you guys have it, under the hood. Looks really good. Uh, we've done all of the plumbing for the cooling system. We've done the radiator. Uh, we've done all of the hoses. We've done the rear hose. Uh, we've done all the valve cover gaskets. We've done the check valves. We've done our air box in intake filter. I clean the mass airflow sensor every year. We've got a battery that's in there that's still pretty good. Power steering lines. This car is common failure, power steering lines. We've done the high pressure power steering line within the last couple of years, so that too is A-OK. -okay. No issues there. Uh, man, we just keep going. I, I upgraded the, uh, I put the uh, genuine Saab uh, steering kit on here. You guys can see that mounted to the firewall there to help with the torque steer. That's behind the engine. You guys can see everything's looking good. We've done all of our sensors along the way. High, you know, all of the stuff for the intake system, done our math not our math yeah we've done our we've done our um, throttle body we changed that out you guys can see underneath here how nice it looks i mean guys whoever buys this car for me is getting a good sob um really you are i've done both the front axles i've done all of the suspension components in the front we've done struts we've done shocks we've done the lower control arm we've done the sway bar bushings we've done them all everything on the suspension in the front has been done the rear is in good shape Everything on the front has been done. Everything. Did I say everything has been done? Yes. Everything has been done on the front suspension. Everything. 100%. Uh, what else have we spent a ton of money on in this car? Oh, there's an axle. We've done, I said the axles, but we also have done the inner axle on the passenger side. Those things can go bad. That ran me a couple thousand bucks. Um, oh, we've done the vacuum pump. You guys can see the vacuum pump is, is uh, on the newer side. We've done the brake booster. This car had a failed brake booster for some reason. It failed. Um, so we put a new brake booster on from a car that had 60,000 miles on it. So that is a fairly new brake booster on there. I mean, guys, this car is really, really, really well maintained. I, I mean, there's probably more things I've done under the hood. Oh, we've done the oil pressure set, the oil pressure switch. I just put a new starter in there. So it's got a new starter. We've done exhaust work over the years. That's an ongoing thing with older cars. If you have exhaust leaks, you kind of just fix it. But we've done some exhaust work. Um, we've dropped the oil pan, some pump, cleaned it out, put new seals in, no sludge. But here's the starter motor. And there you guys have it. No engine lights. Everything's looking good. I have LED lights on the headlights. You can take them back out, which will avoid this front light failure. 182,000 miles on the clock, but with the amount of work that we put into this car, it's a very reliable car. Um, so that is what we're updating you guys about. I mean, this thing um, has served its purpose. Melanie has been driving this car the last seven years, and obviously, as you guys are well aware from the last video, she's gonna be moving on to this Saab over here. And so we don't need this Saab any longer. Um, I have contemplated keeping it, I still might keep it, but if somebody jumps on it from you guys somewhere out there in the Saab world, I'd be happy and love to give it to another Saab enthusiast. And hey, maybe sometime down the road, if you're tired of it, I'll buy it back from you. I don't know. I, you know, these things just come and go. I don't, you know, whatever. But listen, this is a good car. It's got a good shine. It runs good. And like I just said, all of the work we put into it over the years has just been a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, we've done everything. I mean, we've done failed door actuators. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I'll think of things as we go. I've done all the vacuum lines. I mean, think of something that will fail on a sub. I've, I've definitely done it on this car. It's, it's crazy the amount of work and sweat, passion we put into this thing. You know, we still even have all of the emblems on there. All right. Very, very minimal paint stuff. Uh, Guys, $2,000 as is with the transmission out of the car, $3,500 if I have to put the transmission in. That's literally just covering my cost, guys. I'm not making any money on it. I want to give you guys the option of having this car at a decent price. Um, 
I mean, you're gonna find sobs like this for two two thousand dollars, probably without the history books of all of the work done to it. At least I'm telling you, all of the work has been done. I've probably filmed a lot of the work that's on this channel on this car, so you're getting a good car. So that being said, guys, drop me a comment below or shoot me an email. Actually, the first first come first serve. I don't care how this thing goes, whether it's $2,000 with the transmission out or $3,500 with the transmission in. I will say that if I wait to put the transmission in, I have an appointment with a local Saab shop uh, for January. So it's not going to get done for a little bit of time. Uh, but then again, I'm not really in any rush to sell it. Uh, but that being said, that's the status of the deal here. So please like, share, subscribe, shoot me an email. You guys can reach out to me on Instagram at KylePantsis as well. If you're interested, please be serious, serious email, serious offers. Um, and yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.